from humble beginnings in the hills of Kapchora to representing Uganda at the Olympics all around the world, we bring you an athlete, a philanthropist, a man using sports for community transformation to address challenges like female genital mutilation, gender-based violence, and HIV, among others. wants the third consecutive title. What a run. He's pulling away. Joshua Chetagai thinks, but they couldn't stop him. The pride of Africa. He's roared like a lion. And so has Ibanyo. A wonderful silver for him. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Cheptegei of Uganda, a multiple three-time world champion, Olympic champion, multiple world record holder. I bring you good news here from Kapchara, the most beautiful place in, uh, in, in, in this part of the world. I employ everybody to become a change maker. This is Up Close with Ivana Kato, proudly sponsored by Vice Versa Global. Enjoy. Where I hail from is a, actually a place where it was looked at as uh, a place uh, uncivilized and people would say that can something good really come out of uh, my village, that's Kupoti. For me growing up and uh, where I had so many difficulties and challenges as a young athlete uh, without mentors, <coughs> struggling a lot with the mental health and how to make it in life, especially with my career, which was just budding. And I realized that uh, these are some of the things that can really counter one's, uh, one's uh, effort to give the best in, and also to, to get the best out of themselves. And this actually had to introduce me with the, the philanthropic uh, uh, idea. And, and I say to myself that I need to address these challenges uh, which are faced by the young, the young athletes and uh, not also athletes only, but young people who have no support, young people who want to pursue their dreams and they don't have any support and idea of how to do it. Chepte Gay, like any other young athlete, would be expected to have been mentored into the sport, but this was not the case. I believe that it was only God that that shaped me, me and, 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 uh, and, and opened way for me because uh, coming in from such a humble background, I didn't have really mentors, but I had people who, whom I looked up to, though even I never met them in real life. Uh, the greatest icons that I was looking up to them was by then uh, Akele Elit Kipchoge from Kenya, Kenanisa Bekele of Ethiopia, Stephen Giprotich of Uganda, and then uh, <clears throat> Moses Kipsiro of Uganda. I was passionate about becoming a positive change maker and, and becoming something uh, of, of importance in the society. So I had always, just always, the wind of always becoming something, a change maker always has been carrying me throughout and energizing me as I pursue my day to day goals. Despite his accomplishments, Cheptege continued to look forward to the community of his dreams. Uh, one of the most important things is that uh, people should know is that uh, when God has blessed you with success, uh, you, don't, uh, you don't really keep it to yourself. You try at least to be of help, at least where you can be, where you can touch, where your hand can touch, at least offer some support. And you never know that the seeds that you are planting today can actually sprout and tomorrow can be something huge. The story that can be best told is the one that has touched the lives of people. That's, the, that's, that's about impact. And I think also our existence will be if you can be able to reach out to others and be able to hold up our, uh, their hands and be able to move together. That is the best success that can be told. I'm looking forward to a great a great society where uh, there is tangible growth in terms of the, 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 the key aspects that we are trying to address as a foundation. I'm looking at the community where um, 
uh, everybody is an achiever in whatever they are doing, uh, whether in sports, whether in education. Yeah. That is a kind of community that I would want to see in the next 10 years. Cheptege has not only interested the younger generation in athletics, but is also nurturing them through annual initiatives such as the Christmas run. Uh, the highlight is the, the Christmas run where always we, <coughs> we identify talent and we nurture talent. The kids get uh, their scholarships and uh, of course we select the best from the Christmas run. Children are from the community, the ones who also are involved in the sport and also like uh, especially in athletics, also in uh, football tournaments, these are people who are part of the community and they come cheering and supporting and supporting uh, supporting the programs. There are so many people who come to the office uh, really trying to ask for help. But uh, and then what we do is that we have our background team that do that that always do a lot of checks and, and, and trying to really figure it out if and working with the local leadership to see if really such and such a person really deserves the help. Yeah, because we are really looking at, uh, we are talking about the vulnerable communities. The community actually support us in so many ways. They support me in so many ways, especially with embracing the programs that we have for them. It starts with the community. So if you are, it's like you have, you have, you have, you have, you have prepared food. You need people to eat the food, not so. From the home setting, um, with the parents, the most important thing they can do is to give their children a conducive environment and support them and cheer, cheer, cheer up them because their support is very actually, is actually their valuable support is very important. And when the children have that support, then it means that nothing can stop them. Because of the problems he had growing up and in the community, he founded the Joshua Cheptegei Foundation, which later partnered with other organizations. Of course, there are organizations that have always been um, um, helping out uh, the young, young girls and advocating for so many other noble causes in society, especially with the uh, FGM, uh, gender-based violence, and and some other, other social norms in our society. There have been organizations that have always been shaping the narrative, but uh, that did not really emphasize my own part. Uh, mine was just associated with the difficulties that I experienced. And I was able to relate it with where I come from and what it means not to have the support that you need to help you reach your goals. That is where I informed my decision of having an NGO to, to be a torchbearer, to highlight and support those young people who are also having such challenges. And uh, I remember when I was actually young, most of my friends who actually had talent, they dropped out because they couldn't uh, withstand uh, the depressing needs of, uh, of having sportswear, support system and, and, and proper facilities. We have Total Energies who are helping us to pay school fees for the, for the children, for the best athletes and of course those ones who are also vulnerable. And then we are looking at the climate agenda with the UNDP. And of course now uh, this year uh, with the UNDP we are looking at uh, one to do skilling of the uh, uh, skilling of the young boys and girls in this region. I always get uh, questions from the community that why is it that you always you have kept the trend of winning and winning and winning always, mm -hmm. and I, I've always told them that you know you have to set your priorities well and and, and and your vision. You keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. Even if you have achieved what you have what you stand for, you still have to do it because. You still have the energy and the support, yeah. and, you, and, 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 and when you know where you, 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 you want to go in life, you always have to focus on things that make you better and better. And for me, as a, as a personality, as a change maker, I think uh, the mindset of our people is actually what has changed them a lot.
and uh, they, I think that well, that's what they have learned from me and also other athletes and another even the business world whereby uh, it's not just achieving success once it's actually should be a lifetime thing where you want to always press on and press on and try to improve always. When I have competitions in uh, abroad, Akele, maybe it could be in Europe or the US or where, in a part of the world. Hundreds and hundreds of people flock to, 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 to Akele to, to where they watch from. And they are, they are always happy when they see me always winning. Yeah. And when I don't win, the whole town, there's, there's no morale in the town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a sad moment. Mm -hmm. So that shows you that uh, they have me in their blood. If granted the opportunity to lead, Cheptegei's priority will be to address the education system and the needs of the youth. The youth are people who can be either productive or destructive. And they say that if you want to, if you want to really mess up with the, with the future of your country, it is to mess up with the education system and the youth. And uh, we have we have very many youth who are very adamant and not doing anything. But we also have very many of them who are also uh, trying to shape a positive livelihood for themselves and what they can do you know, in, in a way of becoming more productive. We have so many youth now who are into drugs. It is because they're idle. They, they, need, to find out, they need to find something with themselves to do something that can be able to earn them a livelihood. I think for me, what one thing that could build this community is that uh, if people who have made it in life can be able to support just from their surrounding, I think it can change the whole of this place. Because we have people who have a lot of money but they cannot be able to help. But if all these people have money and and, uh, and, and helping people, then it means that uh, we would have a more support system that can be able to support the vulnerable people. So the, the poverty gap will, would have really you know, narrowed down. After my athletics career, I would want to be involved so much in uh, both athletics and football. And um, uh, so, so, so soon we, are, we, are, we will be able to unveil our academy for football and they want to grow sports here. Yeah. They want a story told from here to the world because I can have the time to, to be more involved when I'm retired and also to have more time with uh, family. <laughs> I'm uh, Akiala Mapil married and I have three children. My wife Akiala, she's number one cheer, cheerleader and uh, these are people who always support me from the background and uh, without them I think I, I can't do much. My last request to you guys is that let us keep fit. When we are fit and healthy we can be able to achieve whatever we want to do, achieve in life. I thank you all. I remain yours Silverback. We hope you've been inspired by Joshua Cheptege and we hope you've loved this episode. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Vice Versa Global. And until next time, bye bye.